Ooh. Okay, guys, this is Mr. Shiny Ghost. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Graces F. In the last part, we, we found the shuttle. Found that we need to go fix one of the laser beams, I think. Or something. We gotta go check on it. Uh, but first, we had to stop in Lot, because monsters were attacking Lot. So in this part, let's head to the uh, study and see what Bailey wants to talk about. Is it about your disguise LP? Oh, sorry, uh, wrong Bailey. That's <laughs> HC your Bailey. Save the people of Lont. We are in your debt. And Asbel, you, you saved my life. Thank you. That was nothing. Any of us would have done the same. How is your friend doing? She's resting, but she's not feeling well. That poor girl. She's suffering for helping us. Oh, uh, she was suffering before that, um, so no, it's not a big deal. No, she's been failing health for a while now. It's nothing new. But thank you for your concern. Will you stay in Lont? Oh, hey, it's, it's the idiot in the background. I just noticed him. We have pressing business elsewhere. Oh no, my plan's failing. What should I do? Stab myself? To save Sophie. Sounds like and the best Richard idea too. ever. I see. We have a long road ahead of us to make that happen. I trust you'll take care of things while we're gone. Asbel, perhaps I have... I have misjudged, you. misjudged you. Thanks, Bailey. Oh god, I have misjudged you. If you'll excuse me. Let's see who actually gets what that was from. It's probably not very hard. But whatever. Feel free to say that you know what it is in the comments. I don't mind. So let's head up to Asbel's room. Dad. You're thinking. This worries me. <laughs> Hubert, you jokester. I'm thinking about our father. About how I rebelled against his authority. About how I left. I thought that becoming a knight was all I needed to protect the people I loved. But I was wrong. It wasn't enough. I wasn't ready to be the Lord of Lont. It was just a title they hung around my neck. What thoughts did Dad have as he lived and died as the Lord of Lont? You're a lot like your father was. Uh, Mom? He spent all of his time worrying about us and wondering if he was doing the right thing. But he hid that concern behind a mask of strength and discipline. When the two of you left, he thought of almost nothing else. And he worried that his decisions, no matter how well-intentioned, had caused you both to suffer. It's hard to imagine him thinking like that. Feelings were never your father's strong suit. He was never able to express how much he loved you both. And it frustrated him to no end. I know the two of you are going through a lot right now. But what matters is that you keep trying to do what you believe is right. Your father used to say that. He raised you well, whether you realize it or not. And his spirit will help you in the dark days to come. Just remember, whatever path you take, I will always be here for you. Whatever happens. Oh wait, Darna, I messed it up. Well, what was I gonna do? Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor as soldier. Okay. And if your Enough. Were here, Stop quoting Crisis things. Core. Ah, uh, Crisis Mom, Core. Thank you. Crisis Core. Crisis Core. Okay, uh, I believe we gotta go into Asbel's room. Get the party back. back. Asbel. Sophie, wait. Don't get up. I'm okay. Hey, Sophie. I'm here. We'll heal you, Sophie. I promise. All right. Let's get back to Fendel and fix that heat ray cannon. Yeah, you mean laser beam cannon thing. I'm gonna Do call you know it the laser the exact beam. Location, Pascal? A laser. Yep, 
We can take the road that leads from North Lawn to Velenik. The cannon has just passed Fendel Mountain Pass. Hang in there, Sophie. We're almost home. I will. The party's reunited. That means we gotta change things. And Pascal. Okay. Okay, now we want to head outside for another scene. We got a tiny bit more stuff to do in Lant. Hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, there we go. Trigger the scene. Boys, wait! Please, take this with you. What is it? Just a little basket of goodies. I made all your old favorites, and there's enough for everyone. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're the best mom ever! <laughs> best you're too kind, Lady Carrie. Thanks, Mom. Take care of each other. And be careful. You too. We'll see you soon. So we get curry and a rice omelet and a grilled chicken bowl. And Hubert acquired a new title. Actually, is that the... That might be a... Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, that, I thought it was going to give him... A, mis a new mystic art, but apparently it doesn't. It was a, a plot related one though. Uh, a title that is. So we're we gonna head back inside real quick. I believe we wanna head in here. Yeah, we wanna talk to Asbel's mom. Uh, and see what.
Oh god, that took way too long. Way too long. Okay. Yeah, I want to get a move on in that. Sorry if a few of those times weren't easy to read. That I blame the game, because <laughs> that's not even that wasn't even very easy to read on my TV. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna talk to you in a minute, turtles. But first, a safe, a, rice a skip, not a safe skip. Gave us. There's no safe point there. Why are you telling me this? Because it was your favorite dish when we were all still kids. I'm sure that's why your mother included it. Sheria, please. I don't particularly care for omelets. Okay, I'll toss it. What? N uh, no! Oh? Well, maybe I'll just eat it then. That won't be necessary. I'll eat them. So you still like them? I do not! But I have nothing against them either. And how do you feel about Asbel? I have nothing against him. <laughs> I knew it! Okay, okay, well, um, let's talk to this turtles. What do you gotta say, turtles? Free? I love that. Free? Okay. So we're in Velenek, and we're right at the Fendel Mountain Pass. I was gonna say I was gonna cut, but not anymore, because, I mean, the only th possible thing worth cutting to would be where we want to head at the, the bend, but... It's really not that far. So we might as well head this way. Let's, uh... Oh. Save skit. Is this... Yeah, I don't need that. But save skit, yes. Hmm. Where should we go next? Let's try the little side road that cuts to the east from here. It's just to the right of the small shack. They call that the untrodden snowfield. Much like Mount Zavhurt, the people of Fendel never go anywhere near it. This seems like another case of the Amarsians trying to keep people away from something. I know, right? I mean, how do you even know the field is snowy if you don't tread it? Ha <laughs> Pascal. Okay, so we want to head up here for a little side thing first, though. Avoid all the enemies. And talk to this, this guy. Okay, I'm back after that battle, because that was a terrible battle that took... Took a while. I'm just cutting it out because there's no new enemies in it. I don't know if that's the safest place to sit. Just saying. I believe we have the drill so we can give it to him. Title. Enemy, please. Enemy. Okay. If we go down here, it brings us right back here, so we can just... Oh, wait. Shining spot. Now we want to head east, avoiding that enemy. Help if I could see the path, though. Game on. Okay, back from that battle now. Let's not get into another one, please. Okay, an elf bottle. I'll take that. Okay, I'm gonna cut back here, because here's Malik's second mystic art. I will show you what I can do. Shh. 
Cherry, a learned costume. How interesting. Let's let's take a look at it then, because uh, I've never seen it. So let's go to status. Nope. Magical bee. Okay. I'll leave it on for a little bit, I guess. Anyway, we've made it to the uncharted... Oh, we, we've seen these enemies, except the wolf. I don't like the wolf, though. Um, it's annoying. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll get into a fight and show off some okay, fights. The problem with the wolves is that they, they run around, jump around, and are generally just annoying. See, they jump around and mess you up. They, they aren't hard. But, but they are, are very annoying in my opinion. And here we go, we get a scene. With that like bluish glow. That's enough. We can't keep going like this. I have to take you back. But then I'll lose my I'm healer. Okay. The cold air feels nice. I have to keep going. I won't get better unless I go to Fodra. Right? This is all because I'm... I'm so different from everybody else. That's not true. You're no different than anybody else. That's right, Sophie. I'm so tired of... troubling everyone. Don't be absurd, Sophie. It's no trouble. I... I can't. Everything's blurry. I can't see... you. Sophie! We gotta fix that stupid cannon! Come on, let's get her to Fodra! Okay, so we want to head east here. Avoid the wolf. Um... Let's do this! Oh, I'll, I'll leave this one in, because I don't think we fought the big bear. He shouldn't- he shouldn't- actually, and then most of these enemies are just different versions of earlier ones. The wolves, in fact, and whatnot. However, they're just- I just find them because they're higher level, they're a bit more annoying. Actually, what are the levels on these? Ah, 51. Brawler, he's just like a big bear. That's icy. Captain. You're not doing so bad and with there that, yourself, a Aspel. level up. And we're level 50. I don't want that. I want probably his new one. Later rank ace. Okay. Now we want to head up here. Where do we want to head? We want to head west. I'm trying to avoid the bear. Get a green scarf. See if that's any better for Pascal. Green scarf, fiend resistance. Oh, it's just a weaker nature scarf. So, not going to worry about that. A rune anklet. That should be better for Sophie, even though she's not usable right now. Not that. 
I believe there should be a s uh, there can sometimes be a sparkling point around here, so um, keep an eye out for that. As you can find Magic Carter number 18 here. I remember this though being a total pain for me because it took like f took like at least I get I I went from I was about the same level as I am right now coming into this area last time and then I spent like I don't sure know how many hours trying to find this. it but I I got up to level 55 so it was pretty Once ridiculous the up and running, we can control it with the machine in the seaside cavern What is it? Mm, remember when I thought Fourier could help fly the shuttle? Yeah. Well, what about I it? I kind of asked Poisson to ask her for me, but she said no. Yeah, she's all holed up in her lab and won't come out. I guess she left a letter to explain everything. Anyway, I'm going to have to rig the shuttle so I can control it myself while on board. Can you do that? Sure, if we have enough time, which we probably don't. But we'll worry about that later. Let's get inside so I can start mucking around. Yeah, but there's, there's stuff to do before then. However, I don't really feel like doing it now because we're about a good reasonable part. And okay, so we got Sharp Claw. Don't really care. But uh, uh, here's what I do care about. We got a Turtles here who can uh, charge my mixer. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to the Turtles. Okay. But, uh, we got a safe skit, too. So, I'll do that real quick. Sophie's condition doesn't seem to be improving. Maybe we should take her to a doctor again. No way! If the Amarcians couldn't help her, I doubt some Sawbones can either. The only way to save Sophie is to take her to Fodra. Yes, I agree. I'm sorry, everyone, for causing so, you So, yes, yes, so I, I think trouble. we're getting the picture. We need to go to you. Fodra to help oh. Sophie. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think we're getting no, a game. Sophie. Just saying. But don't overdo it, okay? If it's too hard for you, we'll go back together. Okay, well, in the next part, we will continue. We'll head east from here and get some items and, and whatnot, other things in the area before likely heading into the um, the snow shroud ruins I was about to say sand sh uh, sand shroud but that there is a sand shroud ruins it's just not this um, we'll see it later it's, it's a optional dungeon though so you don't technically have to do it but um mainly because the sand shroud is where actually the uh, the other laser is but that one was supposed to be good, so we don't have to go there. So in the next part, we will head on there. Maybe we'll get into that uh, the, the ruins, I'm not sure. All I know is, Bear, you're ruining everything. I'm trying to do an outro here. Okay, well, this is uh, Mr. Shiny Gyarados signing out, guys. Have a good day, and goodbye.